Hey. So I am on my way to film the first of my 31 days of Halloween. So if you follow me for any amount of time at all, you know I'm a photographer and you know that I get most of my traction at Halloween. I like being creepy. But this year, we're the last few years, we haven't been able to pull off our 31 days of Halloween. We've gotten a chunk of it, but this year I really think we are going to get all 31 days. We have some really cool themes that we're going to put on. And then the solo projects all seem to be really cool so far. It's just mapping out the time to get them done. But today I'm working with Danny. You met her in my Barbie video. Um, she's worked with me for many years, especially on a lot of my creative projects. My Christmas ghosts. She's been in tons of my Halloween stuff. She was the lead in my series that I hope we can get picked back up and do it again. Which the series, I might just redo the whole thing, you know, because it's been a few years people forgot. So we may just scrap that series and start over. But we're filming for the first time for the season on in a different county. So I have to drive there. And we're filming at a really nice spooky house. So I'm going to make a whole video on that spooky house that will go along with this one. And I think I'm just going to post these videos of these projects. And then when October rolls around, y'all can join the photography pages and check out what we've done. Also, I'm really feeling my makeup today. I did a good job. But in this video, I'm just going to show you the behind the scenes of what we do. And then you can see the finished work in October. Um, this will probably be day two because our annual coven shoot is usually day one and we are filming that next month and that is where I get my group of models to come and do a coven shoot with me some of them are real witches some of them aren't it's just for fun and it's just to get us together it's a good time it's lighthearted, and it's just kind of like a break from the real world Honestly, I think these creative shoots really just give us the outlet to escape reality for a while and just have a good time. So when we get together, it's just really fun. And a little background on my group. My group is a diverse group of women and a few men. And we put on these shoots. We come together. We goodwill. We thrift. We we try not to use any money to put this on. So we use everything from our houses, free locations. And we put these shoots on and we've done this since I opened my doors to my photography company many years ago. I do not discriminate all races, sexual orientations, body sizes are welcome. We have a strict, you know, policy on discrimination. So one thing, um, sorry, I forgot I didn't have a lipstick on. But so one thing I um, really pride myself on with my group is the representation that we have we're trying to broaden our representation representation <laughs> I can't talk today but I love the fact that we have many different backgrounds in this group and I didn't want to invite people to my group that a little swippy that would traditionally have the opportunities to book modeling gigs. So these are people who couldn't afford photo shoots even though they wanted to. These are people who wouldn't have probably been picked due to society standards of beauty. Even though they're beautiful people, I'm plus size. I mean, I don't hide it. I'm plus size. I'm confident in myself. I, I would not be picked for projects because of my size. So I wanted to open the doors for people to be able to let out their creative outlets and be who they are. So we have trans people. We have non-binary people. We have black. We have white. We have witches, Christians, just different backgrounds in this group. And when you see like our coven shoot, it doesn't matter we're people and we're there and it's a good time and that's why I love doing what I do and doing these elaborate theme shoots it's because we can represent everybody one thing that was said it, to us in the shopping center about Barbie was the fact that we represented all body types when we were down there doing those photos so many people walked up to us and was like you guys are so fun you guys look like just like Barbies 
you would not have believed the amount of little girls that ran up to us and was just like Barbie 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 you all are beautiful and like that is exactly why I opened my modeling group for the reason I I did when I first started I was like I have this idea in my head and I do vet these girls out like they have become my best friends but when you're new to the group you have a high standard that you must uphold in the group and like I have vast rules and stuff that you have to read and stuff but other than that we become like a sisterhood and it's just really cool to see like people run up to us and be like oh my god I saw some of your work before online and I loved it because I saw myself in that girl or I saw myself in that person in that guy that you posted and so this is why I can't wait to start 31 days of Halloween it's Danny. So this is Danny. We met her at Barbie. And we're filming at this real spooky house. Back there. Mine too. And one day, hopefully soon, at our big shoot, because this is where we're going to do our big Halloween shoot, hopefully, um, we'll talk more about this house. Here's a closer look at this masterpiece and that masterpiece. So she's giving Helena vibes and I'm gonna show you in a minute. Like, the way you're standing, do it on your tiptoes, but I want your tattoo showing like it is. Does that make sense? So have it crossed. It'll just elongate you a little bit more. So you've met her before at Barbie. This is Danny again, but this time she's in her true form. Barbie was not her true form. She rocked it though. But this is the Danny we all know and love. And so I'm gonna let Danny tell you all about herself. Okay, so I'm Danny Gift. I have been a cosplayer since 2012. So 11 years, wow, that's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I really, focus on more goth styles, horror styles, lots of villains. That's definitely more my realm. I've dived into a little bit of superheroes lately, which has been kind of fun, but I always typically come back to this. And anybody who knows me knows that half of my closet already looks like this anyway. So um, this is really where, you know, like the dark witchy vibes, this is where I feel most at home, whether I'm in cosplay or just in regular clothes. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's me. And Danny is an amazing costume designer, and she has also talent outside of cosplay where she ran and curated a museum for a long time here locally, and the costumes she had to mend, fix, and sometimes build herself. A very haunted um, yeah. historic site, too. Very haunted. Which, it's which called Whitehall. Wonderful. So. Um, getting to be there and getting to introduce people to that to that time period it was all 1700s to 1800s um so getting to introduce people to that but also get to dive into that world myself yeah was was very cool whether that be through um actually getting dressed up and doing tours or paranormal investigations i mean i kind of did a little bit of everything yeah she has and she, i feel like she's not giving herself enough credit she's very talented thank you look at the detail We'll film more here when we do our gathering shoot. Like, look at this. That old door. So they do, like, trivia nights here. And Miss Danny's already on her way. She has uh, something to do. But, yeah, we'll do a more in-depth look at this house. But I'm going to I'm gonna try to, like, film in here so you can see. But I don't think you can. No, you can't. <laughs> but look at that window. Look there. You can see straight through. It's just so beautiful here. And I'm gonna do one more pan of the outside of the house and we're gonna go. But yeah, we're gonna film a big shoot here. But we're gonna film a big shoot here um, in October. It just looks like a castle. Well, again, I'm Ashley and thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. This is just a little glimpse of our 31 days of Halloween that is starting. If you'd like to see the finished photos, this will be posted on October 2nd with all of the edits and spookiness added to it. 
again i'm ashley i'm the owner of moments and twine photography i'm a professional cosplay photographer twitch affiliate and tiktoker if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment subscribe like and i'll see you in the next video have a good day